Two teens are now facing charges in connection to a shooting outside of a Publix. We first broke this story yesterday on News 6 at 5. The Osceola County Sheriff's Office now telling us a 17-year-old was shot multiple times in the parking lot of the Publix on Blake Boulevard. That's not far from US 192 and State Road 417. News 6's Brian Didlake just spoke with the sheriff. So, Brian, what did he have to say? Well, Matt, Sheriff Marcos Lopez says while there may be two arrests, there is still a lot more to learn, like who gave a 17-year-old a gun and what was the motive behind the attack? An adult will sell them a firearm. You know, it, it happens. We've seen it before. So we're going to try to trace this to see where the origin of this firearm came. The Sheriff Marcus Lopez providing an update to News 6 after a 17-year-old and an 18-year-old were arrested following a shooting in a celebration Publix parking lot Wednesday. 17-year-old Morel Dion Lee and 18-year-old Maliki Blair are both being charged. Lee faces multiple charges, including attempted murder. Blair's charges are still pending, but deputies have identified Blair as the driver. Charges will be forthcoming on our end for his involvement in the incident um, of the shooting. Um, and those will probably be felonies. We just don't have them exactly because there's it's still an active investigation. God. Sheriff Lopez says Lee shot a 17 year old after a reported argument in less than 24 hours. Deputies arrested both suspects using tips, witness statements and tag information saying Blair was driving a blue car at the time of the incident. We found that actually abandoned in the on the Polk County side. They did a search warrant. That's where they discovered the gun and other items of evidence. Lopez says deputies found this despite the victim refusing to cooperate. Did the victim ever say why he was being uncooperative, why he didn't want to say who shot him? No, but he did say he's known to him. Um, they had some type of an argument in the past. This is a quiet neighborhood, but yesterday I saw it and I just wanted to turn right back around because I didn't want to be right in it. Darlene Rodriguez says she tried to come to this Publix at the time of the shooting. Now, a day later, she is reacting after learning that this shooting involved young people. It's how they are raised, but in today's society, the streets are raising them more. And I just feel that um, it's dangerous because there's more anger. You're seeing more anger in them. Lopez says his office is working to get results to prevent any more youth being locked behind bars. It's concerning for all of us. As for now, you know, we could just respond to calls, talk to them, and uh, find out what is the reasoning behind this. Where are you picking up these weapons? Now, those are questions Sheriff Lopez says his deputies will be asking as their investigation continues. And we did also get a, a, an update on the victim's condition. We are told that he is still recovering in the hospital, but he is set to be okay. But for now, we are live here in Osceola County. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6.